We have covered many strange artifacts upon our channel, many of them after in-depth examinations by the numerous leading skeptics of their time, challenging the rigidly protected views of antiquity, hinting at an extraordinarily longer history than currently taught. It must be noted that to classify as an upart, an object doesn't have to be of an unexplained nature. They can also be highly advanced pieces of technology, dated far within our past, yet for some reason not seen again until very recently. Usually these objects display advanced technological methods of creation that were not again realized until very recently. Our next artifact is an ancient clay disc. Discovered in 1908 within the palace of Phaistos Crete, a 4,000-year-old CD-ROM that we feel may soon be added to the list of Uparts. The Dropa discs, artifacts eerily similar to the tablet, are purported by some to have been left by a group of extraterrestrials known as the Dropa people, who apparently crashed within the Bayan Air Mountains some 12,000 years ago. This account translated from the discs in 1962. These 716 unexplained discs share the same advanced technique of recording information as our disc found in Crete, a method that many specialists, such as Gareth Owens of the Technological Educational Institute of Crete, are now calling an ancient CD-ROM. However, what we feel makes the stone tablet an official upart just like the stones of Dropa, is the fact that the language used upon the disc is as yet undeciphered. And although the Dropa discs were apparently decoded in 1962, an agreement upon the accuracy of this translation has never been agreed upon. What could these mysterious symbols mean? Why are they placed, or rather stored, upon this particular circular stone tablet? in such a peculiar, yet to us, technologically familiar format. Describing the artifact as an apparent Phaistos disc and the first Minoan CD-ROM, Gareth and other specialists have seemingly been struggling to explain the clearly unusual characteristics of the tablet, and indeed its possible origins. Predictably, Instead of mentioning any possibility that due to the disc's unknown language and clear antiquity that it could, perhaps, be a long-lost relic from a civilization as yet not understood, it has merely been placed within the very recent past, with an explanation of it being nothing more than a prayer disc to a mother. Experts admit that the tablet is very hard to explain, and they are struggling to come up with a definitive reading of the disc made up of 241 unknown tokens engraved upon both sides, these now known to have been based off a 45-symbol alphabet. Who built this ancient disc in the design of a modern CD-ROM? Why can't we read the unusual language written upon it? Is it, as the academics claim, a mere 4,000 years old? Or is it, as we feel the evidence suggests, actually an extremely ancient upar.